And now, Chuck, the show starts for real. Okay, good. Inside the NBA is presented by Kia. Studio J in Atlanta, Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Give, give, give a shout out. Sure. Oh. Shout out to my good friend Shaq Morris from Wichita State. Great young player. I know you're watching. He loves you, Charles. He told I appreciate you that. Yeah. But who, who named their kid Shaq? Oh, a lot of people. A lot of folk. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people. A lot of folk. Yeah. A lot of uh, people. Shaq has had uh, one of those interesting nights. What was this all about? Oh, there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't know a camera this. was behind you when you were doing it? Oh, I didn't believe this. No, but that right there is TNT footage. That's called bowling, America. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> bowling. Yo, you have too it's much. It's going down the hallway over there by yeah, the We cannot have more studio. blowouts, man. This is what happens when we have blowouts. Yeah. It's called bowling. Man, it's one of these days, you're going to hurt yourself. Never. I'm a stuntman. I went to stuntman school in L.A. for six weeks. Oh, six weeks. Six weeks. A whole six weeks. So those tough men, they learn everything in six weeks? No, but I did, because I'm smart, unlike you. <laughs> He's a doctor. Dr. What does LMAO mean? <laughs> huh? He doesn't know. Yeah. Hey, what does SMH mean? Shaking my head. Mm -hmm. What does LMAO mean? Laughing my ass off. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is kiss my ass? How's what's, what's, <laughs> hey, stop trying to throw stuff at me, man. I went to Auburn University. Well, this Warrior show has taken an nation. early, unexpected turn. Grizzly so Spurs, let's, let's get to no, let's get to basketball. Okay. The largest halftime deficit overcome in a playoff game to win the game: 21 points. Baltimore at Philadelphia. Baltimore, and then man, Boston. Man, man, Ernie, did Boston you do that by, game? Boston 20 over New Jersey Who's in, the studio, in, two, in studio 2000. Two. In 2000. <laughs> Hennessy never stopped, never settled. Just uh, among the things that. Uh, LeBron could put on his resume from this game, second most, he's in a tie now for the second most, 30 and 10 games with Jerry West in the postseason, past Kobe for third on the scoring charts, past Kobe for fourth in playoff three-point field goals, and his 17th career playoff triple-double, and now that's 20 straight wins in the first round also I knew for LeBron James. I knew Kobe was overrated. How devastating is this for Indiana, Jet? I mean, they honestly could be two, up 2-1. Two, uh, they could have won game one. If, if it was a fifth, Chuck would be yeah, drunk. That's they, it. They should have won <laughs> game one. Hey, if, 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 if. if, if, if we ain't talking about if. If we're a fifth. Yeah, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Come yeah. on, man. I don't yeah. want to hear that shoulda yeah. stuff. No, but my point being, you know, you, you should be up 2-1. And you're talking about, well, we're just not going to get swept. That, that is the, the uh, fine line of the playoffs. And that's why it's important to finish – uh, series out early, do not give games back, do, because guys get hurt, things happen. So for now, it's really about Cleveland not letting it go to a fifth game, uh, because things happen. Uh, we saw in the NBA Finals last year, Golden State, Draymond Green, all of a sudden, he gets yeah. teed up and gets out. Oh, your big man now gets hurt? Now, all of a sudden, the series is a new series, so you hey. cannot allow them to go. So that's what this is about. Now it's Ex about Cleveland. Explain to me how they were supposed, how they could be up two to one. Who? If C.J. Miles See, knocks down that, they knocked, knocked, knocked down, down a shot, shot and, they, 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 and, they, and they, then they don't blow a 25-point oh. lead. So now that we're, we're hypothetical about that. No, that's what he's saying. I mean, it's, step, they, it's not hypothetical. It's never happened in the NBA playoffs until that. tonight. But, but I'm saying, you said <laughs> so the first time no, it happened this, this notion was tonight. It could be up two to one. But it could you know because what it's the first time it ever you know, happened. You know, Paul Joyce says, one, two, three, Cancun. Cancun. No. Yeah. No, no. They, listen, Paul Joyce said they got I don't think they're going to be able to bounce back for that. Come on, man. No, no one's saying they're bouncing back. Now I'm they, saying moves to Cleveland finishing them off because yes. anything can happen in yeah, those yeah, moments. Yeah, you don't want things to happen. Like Paul George says that they need to have better communication. The only thing him and C.J. Miles got to talk about, hey, where are you going on vacation Monday? Where are you going on vacation? I mean, that's all, this is yeah, a wrap. Derrida finish them off. A, you got to uh, finish them off. Derrida was a tough emotional loss. I don't think they're going to be able to balance that. But I agree with you. Cleveland got to come put their foot on their throat yeah. and, and, you know, not mess around with them. But if they don't, they still got three chances to get it done. <laughs> yeah. No, but the fact is, you can, you don't want anyone to get hurt. You no, don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get hurt. Because you're trying to move on. When you get a chance to do it, you got to do it. This yeah. is, you got to do it now. All right. Kawhi. Yeah, Kawhi had 18. One of those nights. 105 94, Gasol 21, Conley 24, Zebo in the starting lineup at 21 and 8. And the, uh, and the Grizz. The Grizz. Uh, that deficit to 2 1. You know, they put a lot of. In uh, that series. 
a lot of pressure on Kawhi Leonard, man. But they got to get some out of their guards. Uh, Tony Parker, yeah. Ginobili. That's uh, first game. Parker really hadn't been effective. He had two. No, good but I'm ones. saying, but they got to get some. And everybody's going to talk about Parker had a donut. Uh, yeah, you can't not score. Yeah. Let's uh, you what do you, the same number of points I had. Yeah. What do you say we? Uh, what do you, did you say donut again too? No, that was no, oh, no, that was sorry. you. Okay. See, all oh, the no. big guys. We talk about food a lot on this. <laughs> Rare 100-point effort for the Grizz, 105 in this game. A rare 50% shooting game for the Grizz, and only turned it over five times well, on the night. This, was, to me, was just a veteran guy. Like, we don't want to get swept. Mm -hmm. I mean, the nice move putting in Zach, Mark Gasol, uh, Mike Conley controlled the tempo of the game. This was like, because it's the worst feeling when you get swept. And it's a sense of desperation when you go back home to zip because you know, like, because you know you're not going to come back from three zip. Yeah. And that to me was just a veteran team saying, no, we're going to, we're going to, we're not getting swept. Hadn't well, scored 100 in a playoff think game I, since 15. You feel it was being swept. See, I was thinking, like, if we win this, we have a chance to win the series. Like, but that's what I know. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing. But if you go down three zip, it's a wrap. Yeah. I, I, I thought overall, <clears throat> again, to beat San Antonio, the numbers that you just described, that's what you have to do. Yeah. And you have to be consistent at that because they're going to make you play at that level to beat them. So very rarely are they going to shoot as poorly as that. This was one, of, this was one they, they probably didn't play at the same level they, they normally do, but they're going to play at an eight, and you have to have those type numbers that you just described to beat the San Antonio Spurs. I don't want to take anything away from Memphis. Play great basketball, very inspiring basketball, but... I think for San Antonio, it was just one of those nights. And Chuck, we, you know, as a superstar, we've had those nights where, yeah. you know, guards ain't doing nothing, I'm not doing nothing, the coach ain't doing nothing. It was just one of those nights. But San Antonio Spurs don't really lose two in a row. So, you know, it's easy to beat a team when they're playing bad. But the Spurs, for them, I'm going to just blame it on one of those nights. Game four is the true test to see if, you know, Memphis really has what it takes and what's to gonna possibly be win like, the series. And what's going to be interesting in game, game four, the Spurs will be ready for the Zach Randolph thing. Yep. And can, can Zach play like that again? On Saturday. And also, because when he comes into the starting lineup, their bench has got to really play well. So it's a double-edged sword. Can Zach do that two games in a row? But also, can that bench step up? 105 to 94, the final score. Hey, we got a new addition to the Turner family. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh. Salim Sobers and, and his wife, Grace, welcoming Shiloh James. Salim, congrats, man. Their third child. Oh, Shiloh, and that's that, a beautiful name. That is. I love that name. Shiloh James I mean, Sobers. It's not Charles. That's a nice ring. Charlene. But Shiloh, that's, uh, is, that's Charlene. a beautiful name. Charlene. I always want people to name their kids after me. Brandon, <laughs> feel free to help you out. Chuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Shaq Morris. Well, I'm Shaq Morris yeah. my man. Nobody expected that shout out oh, right man. there. Yeah, the my man, show. man. I'm told you, man. I hate when people name their kid, the kids' name Shaquille. No what? matter what you hate, I love it. When we come back.